Hi, I'm Dan Zare, business reporter for the Statesman and Statesman.com, here with my colleague Lily Rockwell. And Lily covers gaming for us, and it's an industry that is growing up. It's becoming a more mature industry and starting to ask for some of the perks that mature industries ask for. That's right, and that would be lobbying. So the Entertainment Software Association, which is the top uh, lobbyist firm for the game industry, they are being much more aggressive in uh, lobbying, and they, the head of this association recently came to Austin to kind of push for more things like incentives packages and state funds and that sort of thing for the video game industry. And every company loves their incentives. Obviously, the movie industry has uh, done quite well in, in getting incentives from states and, and other places and countries as well. Uh, film industry is about supposed to be grow to about 100, 111 billion by 2012. Gaming industry is going to be smaller, only growing to 68 billion, but it's supposed to grow a lot faster off that smaller base too. And you know, Austin's one of the places where it's grown. Sure, so there's a lot of, you know, films that are uh, filmed here in Austin, but there's a lot of game companies that are actually based here year-round and producing a lot of revenue for the city. There's Electronic Arts, uh, there's Blizzard, which makes World of Warcraft, they have a testing center here, NCSoft, Bioware, the list goes on and on and on. Mm, is Austin a film town? Is it a gaming town? Uh, maybe it's just a content town. We'll find out. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week.